$6,000 reward is now being offered in hopes of justice for a young woman shot and killed this weekend near Milwaukee's Moody Park. That is where we find our Hannah Jewell joining us live now with why her loss is impacting so many out there. Hannah. I've got to tell you, in the several hours we've been up at this memorial today, I've met child after child telling me just how much this woman meant to them. She really made a difference in this neighborhood. There's a feeling of hopelessness outside the Children's Outing Association's Youth and Family Centers, where 20-year-old Tay Jackson volunteered her time and was ultimately killed. Backwards, back at it again. <laughs> Described as upbeat and a bright light, as seen in this video taken just a day before she died at a basketball event she helped organize. One of the youth ambassadors. Man. But I want to do something for this family and for COAs. COA board member Michael Hupe of the Hupe and Abraham law firm says this is personal. I'm putting up a $25,000 reward to the first person who provides the Milwaukee Police Department with information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person involved in firing the fatal shot. Milwaukee police say it doesn't appear Jackson was the intended target when witnesses say she was caught in the crossfire of a drive-by shooting outside the center at 21st and Burleigh Sunday night. There should be no code of silence protecting people who engage in drive-by shooting in this neighborhood. And we are really appreciative to Michael Hupe and the law firm of Hupe Neighborhood. Jackson's work to promote peace in Milwaukee's most dangerous neighborhoods cut short, a burden someone else will have to bear. You can pay tribute by volunteering here or donating to a memorial fund set up in her name. We've posted a link to that at fox6now.com. Live on Milwaukee's north side, I'm Hannah Jewell, Fox 6 News. Such a loss. All right, Hannah, thank you for that.